scientists have developed the working laboratory demonstrator of a lithium oxygen battery which has very high energy density, is more than 90% efficient, and, to date, can be recharged more than 2,000 times, showing how several of the problems holding back the development of these devices could be solved. Lithium oxygen, or lithium air, batteries have been touted as the ultimate battery due to their theoretical energy density, which is 10 times that of a lithium-ion battery. Such a high energy density would be comparable to that of gasoline, and would enable an electric car with a battery that is a fifth the cost and a fifth the weight of those currently on the market to drive from London to Edinburgh on a single charge. However, as is the case with other next-generation batteries, there are several practical challenges that need to be addressed before lithium air batteries become a viable alternative to gasoline. Now, researchers from the University of Cambridge have demonstrated how some of these obstacles may be overcome and develop a lab-based demonstrator of a lithium oxygen battery which has higher capacity, increased energy efficiency and improved stability over previous attempts. Their demonstrator relies on a highly porous, fluffy carbon electrode made from graphene comprising one atom thick sheets of carbon atoms and additives that alter the chemical reactions at work in the battery, making it more stable and more efficient. While the results, reported in the journal Science, are promising. The researchers caution that a practical lithium air battery still remains at least a decade away. What we've achieved is a significant advance for this technology and suggests whole new areas for research. We haven't solved all the problems inherent to this chemistry, but our results do show routes forward towards a practical device, said Professor Claire Gray of Cambridge's Department of Chemistry, the papers. Senior author. Many of the technologies we use every day have been getting smaller faster and cheaper each year, with the notable exception of batteries. Apart from the possibility of a smartphone which lasts four days without needing to be charged, the challenges associated with making a better battery are holding back the widespread adoption of two major clean technologies, electric cars and grid-scale storage for solar power. In their simplest form, batteries are made of three components, a positive electrode, a negative electrode and an electrolyte, said Dr. Tao Li Wu also from the Department of Chemistry, and the paper's first author. In the lithium-ion Li-ion batteries we use in our laptops and smartphones, the negative electrode is made of graphite a form of carbon the positive electrode is made of a metal oxide, such as lithium cobalt oxide, and the electrolyte is a lithium salt dissolved in an organic solvent. The action of the battery depends on the movement of lithium ions between the electrodes. Li-ion batteries are light but their capacity deteriorates with age, and their relatively low energy densities mean that they need to be recharged frequently. Over the past decade, researchers have been developing various alternatives to lithium batteries, and lithium air batteries are considered the ultimate in next-generation energy storage because of their extremely high energy density. However, previous attempts at working demonstrators have had low efficiency, poor rate performance, unwanted chemical reactions, and can only be cycled in pure oxygen.